So I'm gonna show you two ways of solving this problem actually. So this is really just a, a quarter turn circle of charge, which produces a B field. And we need to find the B field in the center of that quarter turn circle, okay? So there's two ways of solving this. The first way of solving it is by using the equation that we've already derived for a full circle of charge and a point uh, Z away from the center of the circle with a radius R, okay? Uh, so whatever Z is, you know, whatever, wherever P is in terms of the Z axis, you'll see that the B field will get lower and whatnot. Well, in this case, um, the P is right in the center of the circle, but there's only one fourth of it that's actually creating a B field that's influencing P. So the first thing we can do with this particular equation for this setup is to just make Z zero and uh, do a little bit of cancellation. So uh, let's first go ahead and do that. Let's make Z zero. We got then two mu naught IA over four pi. And since Z is zero, you got R squared to the power of three halves. Well, the squared and the halves of the th uh, three halves cancel out. So this becomes R to the third power. Next, you can also see that the circle, if it were a full circle, would have an area of pi R squared. So we can plug that in. And what we can see is that the pi's will cancel out and the squared r will cancel out with the cubed part of this r, leaving only one r in the denominator. So now we have, oh, and we can also cancel out the two and make this half. So now we have mu naught i divided by two r. And that's gonna be the equation of point P inside the center of the cir a full circle in terms of the B field. However, there's only a fourth of a circle. So you can see that's only gonna make a fourth of the effect. So what we're gonna do now is say the B field for one fourth of the circle is actually just gonna be this divided by four. And that just comes out to be mu naught I over eight R. And this, you know, to be honest, this is under the assumption that all parts of the circle are creating a B field in the center of the circle equally. So that therefore, if you have a fourth of a circle, you just divide this by four to get one fourth of the effect. Now let's go ahead and verify that with Beelts of Art Law and uh, use a little bit of calculus in this. So in this case, um, we're gonna go from a DS that goes from uh, zero to a fourth of this. So let's go ahead and just draw a little picture here. Here's where the point P is. So it's gonna go from where we call zero, we'll just call this the zero line, to one fourth around the circle. And that's just gonna be one fourth of the circumference. So that's gonna be two pi R divided by four, which is one half pi R. And we're gonna change that a little bit later, but for now we'll just have it as such. Um, now let's go ahead and make sure, well, at least analyze the cross product because that's the first thing you wanna get rid of. This is going to be uh, ds r sine theta, except the r and the ds, the little ds infinitesimal line are always perpendicular to each other. So if this is r, this is going to be the ds fragment. If this is r, this is going to be the ds fragment, and they're always going to be perpendicular to each other. So this cross product, product is as good as dead. Let's go ahead and get rid of that and simplify this a little bit. Oh, this will then turn on to be R D S. And one of these R's is going to cancel out with one of the R's on the bottom. So this ends up being one over. And uh, let's be consistent with the, the picture. Instead of little R, we'll make this into a big R since that is the radius of the circle and it's also the distance between every point on the semicircle and point P. Um, and then we'll go ahead and put DS down here. Okay, well, let's go ahead and analyze DS. Actually, we won't have to change this. So I thought we we're gonna change it to a theta function, but we really don't have to change it. Um, we'll go ahead and take it one over R squared out. This will become mu naught I over four pi, R squared. 
And now we're going to analyze ds, which is now going to be s from zero to pi over two times r. And this becomes pi over two times r. This whole B field then becomes mu naught i times pi r over two, and then four pi r squared comes out on the bottom. So this whole pi over two times r is separated between all these other variables. Pi's cancel out, two times four becomes eight, and then this r cancels out with the square of that. So this ends up being mu naught i over eight r. And that ends up being the same as here when we analyze um, this equation right here for a full circle. So this is good proof that physics indeed works for all cases.